Hello, grand gainers of sports marketing knowledge. I'm Jeff Berner, and this video is all about doing interviews and press conferences. I obviously am an expert on this, since everyone in the press is hanging on my every word. Well, maybe not every word. But one day a reporter might ask me a question, so it's better to be prepared. At some point, most people in the sports industry will have to do interviews with the press. Interviews are the most common form of media relations, and they provide the press with information concerning an organization. Just because you grant an interview, you do not award the interviewee a right to determine the direction or content of the story. That's up to the reporter. An interview will often go much more smoothly if you are prepared for the interview. What steps should you take before the interview happens? Always provide the interviewer with background information on the topic so there will be no misconceptions or inaccuracies the day of the interview. Create a list of three or four main points to be made and rehearse them until they are smooth, accurate, and convey the intended message. It also helps to anticipate questions the interviewer may ask and have an idea of the correct response. Just like sports, practice is important and good practice makes you a better interviewer or interviewee. Yeah, interviewee, okay. So what are some tips to help during the interview? Remember to speak slowly so the interviewer will not misunderstand what you're saying. It helps to use short sentences to ensure accurate quotes. It's usually wise to never speak off the record. It's also smart to ask the interviewer if anything needs to be repeated, to read back all the quotes, to fact check or call sources to confirm information before running the story. What do you do after the interview? Alert people in the public a story featuring the organization will be printed and aired soon. Call and ask any errors be retracted if they occur. If serious errors occur, consider writing a letter to the editor or an opinion article to be published in the same publication the story was printed in. So what do you do if you find yourself holding a press conference? Press conferences involve one or more representatives from an organization answering questions of many members of the press during a forum. Press conferences are often timed and governed by the rules established by the entity which called the meeting, often the organization providing the speaker. They should only be called when there is something important which needs to be immediately addressed. Often what people think merits a press conference can be much better suited for a press release. Okay, so that's my video on interviews and press conferences. Remember to read through the Schoology page. And when you're ready, click on the next up link to go to module 3.2, where we talk about press releases and pitches. Until next time, young Padawans, may the force be with you.